what is going on guys welcome back to another video the craziest thing i have to move out of this place i have to move out of this shitty ass apartment place the crappiest stuff has been happening to me at this place um all my shoes got stolen as you guys saw my laptop got stolen and last night i was i was sleeping a freaking tree fell like almost fell on it that's the building that's the tree right there all the powers the power is out these are the power lines right here that go up to there it's just crazy um and it broke like a gas it broke a gas main i don't know what really that means it broke a gas main and there was a big giant gas leak everybody that was standing outside was getting high from it it was crazy i started seeing like little colors in my eyes it was just really nuts i had to walk all the way down the street to get away from all the gas it was nuts and like a it was like a bunch of freaking mud. It was like there was water spraying everywhere. The, the tree broke like a water pipe or something and it broke a gas main. And when it fell, luckily this didn't happen to me. Oh, and there's all like the branches. This tree was all the way in the road. The, the cops were here and they had this place all like taped off. There was like yellow caution tape. They had like three fire trucks like Seattle Puget, or Puget Sound Energy was here checking out everything. Seattle City Light was here and this sucks also. The tree fell right on this guy's Bronco. Look at that. Fell on his Bronco. That is so crazy. The tree's right there and it fell right here. Is this your car? No, it's not my car. No. But yeah, that's so crazy. This guy's not gonna be happy when he comes and sees his car. God dang, man, I gotta get out of this place. I'm out of here in I'm out of here in April, actually. I got like a few few more months left in this place. But uh yeah, I just had to go up there. Uh, I was in the building when the tree fell. It felt like an earthquake went off. It was so nuts. I was like, what the hell? And I just put my shoes on really quick. And then the cops and the, they didn't let us in the building for like three hours. We were standing out here till like one two o'clock in the morning sucked but uh yeah that was my night i'm not gonna have power for like a week they said and the, i don't know what's gonna happen with the gas leak i don't know what's gonna happen with water so last night i stayed at a friend's house uh, i just went grabbed some things with my backpack grabbed my laptop uh my camera and some like clothes and stuff i really need to go find a place to shower because tonight i'm taking my parents to a like a five star, I think it's like a five star restaurant in Seattle. Um, just as a little thank you for like this whole shoe situation. I made a video, um, I'm making this video before I made made the video. I'm making this video before I'm gonna make the video that's gonna come out before this video, if that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna have like an update video of what's going on with like my channel and like my sneaker collection, what's what I'm gonna end up doing with it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. or. That's going to be out before this video, so it doesn't even matter. You guys probably already seen that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the mall right now, try and kill some time. My parents are getting here at, like, 3 o'clock. So it's, like, 9 o'clock in the morning right now. So I got, like, six hours to kill. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the mall. I don't really know if I'm going to film there. But, yeah, let's see what today has to offer. So I came to the mall for a little bit to kill some time. And I've been walking past Champs and Foot Locker because I really like those new they're Adidas EQT supports. Um, I really like those, they're like 110 bucks. I can't decide if I want to get them because they don't have boosts in them. And I've kind of sworn myself into getting Adidas shoes that have boosts in them. Um, it's been like a really long time I haven't bought a shoe or an Adidas shoe that doesn't have boosts in it. But uh, I got some Panda Express right now. I got a fortune cookie, got some orange chicken and some fried rice kind of just contemplating on if I want to go make it a purchase. Um, impulse buy on those, those are pretty cool. I like the black and white ones with like the kind of pink. I think it's like true, it's like hyper pink or hyper red or something. It's not technically pink, but it looks pink to me. Um, so I'm kind of trying to decide if I want to go get those. Um, it's only 10.30 right now. So I got some more time to kill before I take my parents to the restaurant. And I don't know what to do because I really need to take a shower. Um, I haven't showered yet today. I feel kind of disgusting. Look at that stink.
so dinner was really really good i didn't really film that much there because it was like a really nice place and i was very underdressed i wore like my nike like just nike stuff pretty much everybody was wearing like suits and ties and dress shirts and stuff but it was really good the, the food was really freaking good it's probably like one of the best meals i've ever had um in my life my parents really liked it my dad had the blackened prime rib i think and he said it was probably the, the best prime rib he's ever had mom had the king salmon so she ate it all so i'm guessing she thought it was good and i got like top sirloin i think and it was really cool like our waiter our, our waiter was probably the best waiter i've ever had in my life my dad wanted to like ask him what well, he wanted to ask him to go fishing with him and stuff but uh, he knew like everything like about the food that we were gonna get he like knew like how long of its life it was grass fed and or if it was corn fed how the cook was gonna cut it if there was gonna be any fat on the on the meat because i don't really like um fat on my meat i don't really like picking it off and i think it's i think it's gross so yeah dinner was really good really nice restaurant i definitely recommend if you're in the seattle area go to the metropolitan grill that's where it was super nice you got to get reservations though if you want to go so i would definitely recommend that place i feel like i have been up to some other things lately um oh i met steve-o he was doing stand-up comedy um down in tacoma so i went and saw him and I got a couple of pictures with them and I've been watching Steve-O's I've been I knew I've known who Steve-O is for like a really long time but I've been watching his YouTube channel for like a couple of years now and um, I've, I saw in one of his videos that he said if you go up to him and tell him it's the age of the selfie bro that's like a little hidden message he has in his YouTube videos or in his vlogs it can be a real nightmare all day long, every day, everywhere. And then, uh, just a picture, just a picture, just a picture. I'm not complaining because I love it. I wouldn't trade it in, nobody would. But here's something that could make me very, very happy. If you see me in public, right? I mean, being that you're somebody who's watching my second channel, right? That's, you guys are real ones. You guys are the ones I want to meet. You guys are the ones I, I love so much. That's why I do this, man. So, if you see me, there's going to be a little code word kind of a thing. Right? So that, like, I won't be frustrated at all. Come up to me and say, it's the age of the selfie. Don't mind if I do. Or should it be, it's the age of the selfie. May I? <laughs> You take your pick. I don't care. You tell me it's the age of the selfie and then whatever you want. I don't care. But that's the code word. And if I hear that, I'll, I'll be so happy. I'll give you a big hug. I'll say, man, I, Courtney, love the fucking shit out of you. He says, if you ever if you ever see me out and about, tell me it's the age of the selfie and he'll give you like a big hug or something. Uh, just to show that you like watch his videos or whatever. Um, he really likes that. He, he wants to... Uh, give the people who really support him I guess a better experience when they see him out in like public I guess so I went up to him and told him it was the age of the selfie he gave me a big hug and he actually let me get three pictures with him everybody else just got one picture um but I got three pictures with him so I think that was pretty cool he used to be in the circus so he does a couple like little skits too and his last little thing that he did uh, I got it a little bit on Snapchat, but you weren't allowed to have cameras there, so I didn't really film. I didn't film anything, but um, I got a little bit of his closing act on camera, and it was really funny. He took his shirt off, and he was down to his boxers, and then what he did, this is kind of like... TMI or whatever, but he he tucked his balls and his wiener between his legs, like without his like without using his hands. Like he was standing there, he was standing there in his boxers. Somehow he got his baseballs and his bat in between his legs, and he pulled down his pants 
and there wasn't anything there because he had his balls and his D tucked into his thighs. It was, it was a really weird thing to look at, but it was freaking hilarious. I've never seen that before. He called it the, uh, the double back. I thought he was just gonna like, cause he has that tattoo on his back. I thought he was just going to like turn around or something to show us the tattoo on his back, but no. It should have been called the triple back, triple back cause his, uh, all of his junk was inside of his legs. So that was, uh, that was really funny. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's been some other stuff I've been up to, but not all that much. I'm going to have some sneaker videos coming up, but, uh, yeah, until then, I guess this is going to be the end of the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did subscribe, if you would like, I'm going to have more videos, um, on the way and follow me on Instagram. My name is right here in the corner. So follow me right there. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.